What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here, and if you've been living on a rock, there has been a poker beef that has taken the Twitter world by storm. Matt Berkey and Nick Airball do not like each other. To say the least. In today's video though, we're going to see a different Nick Airball. One that apparently only has one 20k buy-in. One that apparently is willing to sell his car for a reload. Sell my car to rebuy. And one who, to put it quite mildly, is not such a douchebag. Sachi. We don't all wear fucking, you know, budget suits to the show. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> what is this made of? Teflon? What are you doing, buddy? Like, do you have money? I guess investment banking has been going really well the last six months. Let's get in the action. By the way, for the, uh, the Life is Bluff remix. Guy just crushes, right? Well done, Raver. You guys can give him some love on Wednesday when he commentates. Nick with uh, Kings, Rampage, raising under the gun with Ace 8. It wasn't a pet tech right? I bought him for more. What are you doing, buddy? Like, Nick decided not to three bet that one. He just called. Nick calls. To set the scene for this hand, the blinds are 5100, 200, and this is the Hustler Friday game. Rampage makes it 600 preflop, and Nick Airball, only off a $20,000 stack, decides to flat. Now, this is not something I would personally do. I would always 3-bet Pocket Kings, as I don't really see any reason not to, especially when you have the name Nick Airball in your title. Um, but also, he's off of 20000 Where's the 500000 that he usually buys in for? On a queen high board, Rampage bets 500 and Airball just flats. Personally, I would go for the raise with Pocket Kings as Rampage can have a lot of queens. We don't have a spade in our hands, so we don't have the backdoor flush draw. We can get a lot of money in on the flop and then continue on. With that said, he just goes for the call and let's take a turn. You want to pay me more? I thought there was interest with this. Yeah. Rampage checks. Oh, you, Ron, huh? Nick bets a thousand and Rampage calls. Action checks to airball and he bets a thousand and twenty seven hundred. Rampage decides to call and it's not something I would advise as we have a lot better hands to call with. Of course, we have some flushes in our range, we have some some Queen X in our range, we have some boats in our range. Stuff like that. We don't need to call with Ace Hive because then we're just kind of over calling. With that said, let's take a river and see what happens. This run out is just getting better and better for Nick. At this point, you're hoping that Rampage has got a queen. Oh, thank you. A big one. Yeah, huge. <laughs> oh. Wow, you flopped the king. That's king. That's I told you guys it's going to be hard for me to last an hour. Where's the 500,000 that he usually buys in for? And Rampage just check raised. Why not rebuy? Basically all in. I was hoping he was going to call, and then I was going to say good call, and let him turn over a queen, and then turn over kings. Well, instead, he has check raised here, and he's basically telling you the story that he's got a deuce or maybe pocket queens. Action checks to airball once again on the river, who bets 7,000 and 4,600, and this is a good size bet. It allows you to get value from a lot of queen X and potentially pocket eights, pocket nines, etc. Rampage goes for the check shove on the river, which is very ill-advised because if a guy has a queen, you would think they would snap call. To be honest, I'm not sure why this hand exists because Pocket Kings is just a very, very easy call. We are way too high up on our range to even consider folding. Rampage is only representing a hand like Pocket Queens and Pocket Sixes, perhaps Pocket Aces, and that's it. Once you flat Pocket Kings preflop, you are simply too high up in your range because Rampage could be trying to get you off a chop with a queen. So this is a very, very easy call. However, let's see what Nick does. 
really polarizing line here for Rampage. You're supposed to have two. So you have two and you use one. And what is what what happens with this? Extra minute this time. Extra minute for this one. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So you have one minute. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> It's pretty disgusting right there. I mean, I guess I just give you the money, right? <laughs> Sell my car to rebuy. That's a tricky one, but yeah, probably. Interesting. Wow. But I can use another minute, right? This is one of those really weird spots where Pocket Kings. It's a great bet on the river by Nick. King King Rampage. That's a full house. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever folded a full house in my entire life. It's just a bluff catcher at this point, though. Actually, it's my watch money, so I kind of want to think about it. Forty more seconds. I know they're praying I fold because if I call and I'll lose, and then it's back to being silent and boring. I'm probably gonna fold though. It just seems a little ludicrous that you'd be bluffing here. Garrett's loving it. Garrett looks a little dubious. Man, this is looking. This is something. I think she got it, but I'm gonna think about it for another 19 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Wow. Five, four, wow. Oh, show him the bluff. Wow. Show him the bluff. Show, me a show him the bluff. Oh my God. Oh my God. I bet 7,000 and he bluff raised. Garrett, would you have called? Holy shit. Nick Carball goes for the fold for absolutely no reason as he's a pocket kings and he's way too high up in his range to fold. With that said, he kind of got wrecked. Also, maybe stick with investment banking. It's been doing very, very well the last six months I've heard. Keep it up, kid. You're doing great. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. Much love. Baby, you give me eyes and fire. Me, we.